How's it going, by the way? Are you you're rehearsing at the moment? Attempting to. It's slightly chaotic. It's good to be back. Yeah, I was chatting to someone about it the other day, and it always feels at the beginning like you, you know, you forgot, you forget what it's like to do it when you were good at doing it, and and then that then that sort of obviously is going to change towards the end, and hopefully I forget how crap we are right now, you know. Yeah, that's the fucking plan, anyway. I suppose you've got it's like starting all over again. It shouldn't be, but it feels like it. We did enough gigs to sort of know better, but it does feel a bit like that at the moment. I feel a little bit sort of out of, out of touch with it. Really? And how, how's the, uh, the new songs coming along? New songs are actually coming along better than the old songs. That's the thing that's bugging me most. It's a bit, going back to the old ones is a little bit more difficult, I think. We did quite a lot to change them as we, as we went through them last time, and I think I kind of always want to change everything over and over again. And you've got to kind of um, discipline yourself not to continually change everything for the sake of it, because you're getting bored of it yourself, you know. So obviously you take it out of context that other people won't enjoy it anymore, you know. Mm. Gets away from and what it becomes it was meant very self-indulgent, you know. Yeah, I guess it's always going to be more exciting when you've got the new album. You want to get it out there to people anyway. Yeah, I just you know, trying to mix the setups quite hard, you know, because got to try and work on a really kind of a good feeling sort of set list, so it really flows and has its peaks and troughs or whatever mm. as an intro and an ending, you know. And um, you want to do it, you want to re sort of present it in a different way than you did before. So you know, you, you sort of. Got a lot of songs to try and get away. You know, there's a lot of songs we've had to sort of really kind of uh, cut the list down. You know, you can't play everything. Mm. I kind of feel that um, 45 minutes is enough for a lot of people, and then they start looking at the bar. You know, yeah. I, I fucking do. Like <laughs> yeah. it. No matter how, what band it is, it matter, I, I can love them. It, about an hour and 40, I'm like, man. Oh, and there's nothing worse. Well, to be honest, I'm bullshitting because during a whole gig, I'll, I'll be back and forth. You know, I'll never stay in one place long enough. Yeah, that's all right if you got that option. Yeah. <laughs> I just heard that Sinead O'Connor's going to be joining you for the tour. Sinead's really excited about doing a lot of it, you know. Um, she's obviously got commitments and she's got family commitments and stuff. But she seems quite sort of uh, interested in doing as much as she can. It's kind of kind of quite cool. It's almost like a super group thing going on. <laughs> no, I don't see that. No. <laughs> that sounds horrible. That sounds yeah, sorry. Hideous. <laughs> no, no, I, don't, I mean, I think Sinead's an amazing you know, performer as well as a, as a great sort of, you know, a great sort of uh, vocalist and singer and writer, you know. Um, so it's going to be going to be exciting having along, definitely. Mm. How did that all come about with Shane and vocals? Met her, met her sort of about ten years ago. You know, it was one of those kind of mutual respect things, and we never got sort of actually around to doing anything, even though that was always kind of an idea that was in the background. Um, and it just felt right this time, I think. Mm. I felt kind of like everything seems quite so generic now and, and so predictable, you know, out there. And you hear eight bars of pretty much any track, and you can sort of imagine what the, how the vocalist is going to sound. Mm. You know, before they've even started singing, you know, it's almost like a, I get a sort of pregnant pause and, a, and a sort of like a sucking of breath, and I can imagine the first note and the tone of the voice and the whole thing, whether it's that kind of pop cabaret sort of nightclub singer thing that's going on, or whether it's R&B, indie, or rock, you know. There's only a few vocalists out there really t turn me on properly. Mm. And Sinead's one of them, you know, she c does convey a total spirit, which I think is really important right now. There's some talk of LED screens or something, or being interactive. I, I was just wondering how that was going to work and lights and stuff. Couldn't quite get it in my head how it, what it was going to look like. It's going to be, um, we're going to try and just do, take to push the boundaries out a bit, I mean, but we want to try and keep it quite pure as well. So we're going to try and work in sort of just white light, just different temperatures of white light, and not use follow spots anymore, because I think they just destroy the, destroy the whole the feeling on the stage. Because, you know, no matter what you do, you, you get a follow spot following someone, it lights up everything around it, and it just, I just, it just takes it away. It's just so obvious, you know, everyone does it. And, um, we're going to try and rely on localised light on the stage in white and then use the LED screen to sort of like project pure colour. And LED is a very pure colour transmission, you know, so it's going to be at full tilt, banging out colour but modulating, so we try and get colours within colours, so it's going to be a pretty sort of like trippy. And also we're going to use um, information and statistics and code and, and information from everywhere we go. And, and we got like, um, the, the guys at High Res are doing our website, I sort of worked out a way of Everywhere we go on tour, they can hook up to various websites that gather information, so we can get hold of that and upload it to our to our kind of server, and then turn that into the information that hits the screen, and that information then gets turned into colour and code and different ways of uh, sort of using the pixels on the LED rather than using video, because we don't want to do it as a video thing. It's got to be an information-based thing. Right. So it's, it's complicated, but there's a lot of great soft programmers that are working on it at the moment. You know, and the guys that come with us as well. We can, it's not going to be a preset thing, we can update it every day and rewrite it. So it's going to be different, so it's particular to each town that you visit. Yeah, and we're hoping that on the message board and maybe with a terminal if we can get it sorted, that people can sort of like type in messages and we can then get that, we can draw that from, from, our, from the, the server at home and then and randomise it and send stories out and put things up on, on, the, on the sort of screen as well. Right, so it's not going to be the case where people are sending text messages and stuff while you're playing? 
That'd be risky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your shit, get off, I'm going home. I want my money back, that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, no, I saw someone at the, uh, um, is it the ocean? And I know there was all these people doing this texting thing, and the band was like, back that way, and they were like standing here doing all this texting thing. I thought, that's a bit weird. Well, so we've got this other thing, we've got this, there's a, few, there's a few different interfaces you can use, and we're hoping to have this camera, which is nothing more than a webcam type camera, which you can then, it's been programmed so you can point it at, in, at various things, and it will pick up movement or light and uh, calibrate it, and you can, set, you can actually use that, you can basically send those calibrations to different mod mo modules and models, so you can turn the calibrations of light and dark, the shades in between, and in, in, in play notes in MIDI, or you can turn that into light, sort of, uh, you know, different way of modulating light again, so you can point at the audience and things and get and get an interactive type light show going on. I mean, it's all sort of quite, it sounds quite far-fetched and it's extreme, but at the same time, we're going to try and keep it as simple and pure as possible, if you can imagine the difficulty in this balance. <laughs> yeah. Trying to keep this balance is going to be hard. But.